Hello, and welcome to Vitavage. This is not my usual type of content, but I wanted to take a moment to talk about the new upcoming sequel to the Life is Strange universe, a little game called Captain Spirit. This will involve a far-out theory based on one piece of evidence from the trailer, but I hope you'll follow along with me and enjoy the video all the same. Quick disclaimer, this video will have spoilers for Life is Strange, so if you haven't played it or don't know how it all ends, you should probably quit this video now. With that out of the way, let's just jump into it. Captain Spirit takes place in a fictional town called Beaver Creek, a place that according to Don't Know is not very far away from Arcadia Bay, and is still set in the state of Oregon. We follow the story of an imaginative 10 year old boy named Chris while he spends time with his father on a casual Saturday in December. Now, based on the trailer of Captain Spirit, we know a few things, such as the mother is no longer around, and based on the song Don't Nod has chosen for this game, has most likely passed away to leave young Chris and his dad to figure things out on their own. There isn't a whole lot that can be taken from this trailer or the gameplay footage at E3, but there is one major clue I've noticed that is the main subject of this video. This. Damn. Wall. In the trailer, the camera pulls focus from Chris on the bed and deliberately highlights the writing here, which no matter how you cut it, this means the dates we see are most likely an important clue. This isn't something you normally do in film or visual media unless it has some kind of importance to the character and or plot. So this tells us something about Chris and the world that we will be playing in. The first thing we can possibly assume based on this is that while Chris was growing up, his mother and father were together and kept track of his growths every year. But then it stops here, in 2014 when Chris was seven years old. And unless Chris has hit a major stunt with growing, this heavily implies that this was the last year Chris had with his mother before she passed away. However, that isn't the most interesting part about this wall. The interesting part about this wall is this date. 09-10-2013 Which basically translates as September 10th, 2013. Okay, wait a minute. That's not really an important date at all in Life is Strange as far as I'm aware. But that's only if you're running the date by American standards. Life is Strange takes place in America, but Don't Not Entertainment is a company located in Paris. And Paris runs on a completely different date format. So if we assume Don't Not use their own calendar to mark this date, then the 9th of October is exactly when the Life is Strange Chaos Theory episode begins. This has a ton of implications. Personally, I find this lines up too perfectly to ignore the chances this was just some overlooked mistake. Don't Nod really could have chosen any random day, but this one is just too much on the nose to not be the case. This leads me to believe that there is something in that episode that provides us a clue. When I found this little hint, I thought about it a lot. Could this be the date that Chris and his father found out some critical condition the mother had? Perhaps this clue is simply to draw a connection with Chloe's condition when Max runs into her at the end of episode 3. Based on the song set to be played in Captain Spirit, I wouldn't be surprised if the way Chris's mother passed was somehow related to how Chloe had asked Max to end her life. It's a grim thought, but I suspect that there's more to this date than that possibility. See, there's one other important event that also happened on this date. And that was the fact that Max traveled through time, messed with history, and created a whole new timeline. So here's the theory. I don't think Captain Spirit takes place in the original timeline. Here's why. In several interviews that Don't Not had during the E3 press conference, they had mentioned on several occasions that this new story in Life is Strange 2 won't canonize the very last choice you made in the first game. You know, the one where you either sacrifice your best bud for the greater good or sacrifice an entire town because you can't let them go? Yeah, that big one. See, I find that a funny thing to mention considering that Arcadia Bay is supposed to be close to Beaver Creek and that the events here in Captain Spirit take place three years after the events of Arcadia Bay. That's actually not a very long time or a very long distance not to have heard and or know about a massive tornado that basically rips through and destroys an entire town. Not to mention that there was evidence in the demo being played that the game ties itself to Arcadia Bay via Blackwell with this letter from Principal Wells. Apparently Chris and his family used to live in Arcadia Bay, which ultimately means that they have ties there. Friends, family, people they once knew. If Don't Nod plans to not make your previous choice canon, then how can they escape this little conundrum? 
Either A, nothing happened in the town, therefore Chris and his father have no reason to think about Arcadia Bay or anything that may have happened, which would mean Chloe is dead and Max is doing something, probably with Warren. Or B, the tornado obliterated their old town, which makes it incredibly callous of them not to mention or think anything about it. I don't know about you, but if I lived somewhere, I'd have met somebody in that town and hearing about it being destroyed after I'd left, uh, that'd create a reaction out of me. This ultimately leads me to only one possibility. Captain Spirit doesn't take place in Max's original timeline. That way, Don't Nod can say whatever they want about the events in Arcadia Bay because it's not the same version of the world we came into. So here's the theory in a nutshell. The reason why this date is highlighted is to bring reference to the day that Max had gone back in time. The day she created a whole new universe that we technically don't know all the details to. If Captain Spirit is taking place in this timeline, then Don't Nod wouldn't have to worry about canonizing the previous game's ending. They could destroy or not destroy Arcadia Bay, and it wouldn't matter because these events aren't taking place in our original story. And that could have huge implications for what Life is Strange 2 could potentially be. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little theory. I'm sure we'll find out more when the game comes out on the 26th, but I'll be playing it here on this channel if you want to see my reactions to it, and if you thought this video was interesting, please leave a like. Depending on how this video goes, I may do more theories on the Life is Strange universe. If not, consider this my one-off attempt at branching out. I hope you enjoyed this little theory of mine. This isn't the typical kind of content that I do on this channel, but I am trying to experiment just a little bit to see what people might be interested in. If you have some theories of your own, please feel free to share them down in the comments below. But that's all for today, so until next time, I'll see you in another video.